Hello there. Today's video is going to be about secret places. Now, when I mean secret places, you're probably thinking, what? What the fuck's you on about secret places? But everybody knows a secret place, don't they? Everybody knows one, at least one. Probably when you were little, your parents took you for a walk somewhere to the nice secret little place. And they've probably turned around and said, don't tell anyone about this place. This is our little secret. And the reason to do that is because there's certain beauty spots what a lot of people don't know about, you know? So if you can find somewhere like this, you've got to keep it to yourself. <laughs> Otherwise, people just fucking ruin it, man, don't it? Uh, what, what I've done is over the years, I've got like a little, a little black book and any good places that we go to, I write down the postcode and I've like put them all into this book. So then, obviously when my kids get bigger and they have kids, I can say to them, look, this is all the places we used to take you to when you were little. You know, and we might know about these places and other people might not. There might only be fucking, you might live in a, in a town and there might only be 50 people in the whole town know where this is, out of like 2,000 people in your town. You know, so if you can find somewhere good and you don't want it being ruined, or like, you don't want to like, Say if it's in the summer and it's like a nice little fucking a nice pond or something like that or there's a lot of people go to like blue lagoons and places like that I mean you're not really supposed to swim in that type of water because it's like acidic and that but people still do you know but like I say if you can find nice little places you know you might find a tree what you want to carve your name in your family's name and they might take their kids when they get a bit older and do the same, you know, I mean, I'm not encouraging hitting wildlife or, like, trees and stuff like that, but that's just an idea of, like, how you can personalise your own little place, you know, I mean, it might not be on your land, sometimes it's it's nice to go and, like, ask the landowner's permission if you can go on, and nine times out of ten they'll probably say, yeah, as long as you take all your rubbish with you and leave it in a respectable way, you found it, you know, and... I live in a place called Northumberland, which is in the northeast of England, and it's fucking awesome. There's loads of like decent places, like out in the sticks. You know what I mean? We've got the the Keela Lake District, just about an hour away from where I live, and there's fucking loads of belt of like rivers, and you know what I mean? There's loads of awesome places you can go to, but I know a few little places where hardly anyone knows as well. So I'm not going to tell them either. <laughs> Fuck them. Let them find their own little secret place. But like I say. If you find all these places, you know, you can fucking, you can write a description of how, how to get to the place. You might have to park your car in a lay-by, walk across two fields, walk through a gate, walk across one more field, then you're there, you know? So you want to at least write as much instructions as you can to help whoever it is you're going to give the book to, to find it the same as you did, you know? Uh, I mean, I know we've got things like fucking drones and that any day, uh, uh, nowadays where you can find shit, but who wants to carry a fucking drone around all day long? <laughs> but, I, it's just a little idea, you know what I mean? Especially for people that's been padded up over the past few months with the fucking, with everything that's gone on and that. You, you probably can't wait to get out and start fucking getting back into nature again. And let's face it, it's good for you. It's good for you to be at one with nature. You know, I mean, we've had a lot of fucking stress and shit like that, you know, so we've got to, like, work hard, play hard sort of thing. If you've been under loads of stress and that lately, you owe it to yourself to get out, have a walk, get some fucking fresh air in your lungs, man. That's what it's all about, man. It'll put some hair on your arse. <laughs> fucking air. If you've got animals as well, it's fucking meant for them to get out and about. Dogs will be fucking going do lally top being stuck in the house all this time. Fucking uh, with the lockdown and that. But, like I say, secret places. If you can find a secret place, keep it to yourself. Otherwise, it's not a fucking secret anymore, is it? <laughs> anyway, I hope you like the video. I, I thought I'd just put out a different video for a change. You know, I'm sick of fucking putting out fucking dread and shit like that about what's been going on with riots and stuff like that. I'm fucking sick of it, so I, I thought I'd put a nice one out for a change. Hope you like the video, people. See ya. Have a good day. Thanks.